The narcissist will always throw you under the bus. Whether the narcissist is your relationship partner, family member or friend, they will always throw you under the bus. They will always betray you. They will always violate your trust and confidence in them. They will always do something harmful to you in order to gain an advantage for themselves. Because they are not loyal. Someone who is loyal remains firm in their friendship or support for a personal thing. They will avoid temptation. They will avoid the desire to do something, especially something wrong or unwise. Because they value you more than any short-term urges for enjoyment that may threaten long-term goals. While the narcissist is very selfish, they lack consideration for other people. They're only concerned with their own personal profit or pleasure, regardless of how it may affect you. They don't entertain any thoughtfulness or sensitivity towards other people. They don't engage in careful thought before deciding or acting. They are very impulsive. They will do things suddenly and without careful thought, without consideration of the consequences. They will sacrifice people, especially those who are vulnerable, for their own personal gain. They will expose you to an unpleasant fate in order to save themselves. They will exploit your trust for an, ul for an ulterior purpose, advantage or agenda. They will harm you through deceit. They will deceive you by concealing or misrepresenting the truth. They will betray or sacrifice you for the sake of their own advancement as a means of safeguarding their own interests. They will condemn you to something by ceasing to take an interest in you so that they can allow themselves to indulge in a desire or impulse. Their actions will reveal to you that they really don't care about you. They have no consideration for you. They will leave you feeling insufficient and inadequate. They will leave you feeling lacking and wanting. They will leave you in short supply so that they can indulge themselves, so that they can enjoy a particular pleasure, so that they can spoil and overindulge themselves so that they can gratify their wishes to an excessive extent. They are self-absorbed and they lack empathy. They don't care about how their behavior affects you. They will do anything to get ahead. They will do anything to gain an advantage because all they really care about is themselves. All they care about is their own selfish needs. All they care about is their own comfort, achieving a state of physical ease and freedom from restraint, easing or alleviating their feelings of grief and distress at the expense of your safety and security. And when they throw you under the bus, they will still return to you. They will give you fake consolation, as though they actually care. They will play the role of someone who is trying to comfort you 
or have sympathy for you during your experience of loss or disappointment but their actions will never match their words they will never take the necessary action to make the situation right because they're only concerned with their own interests or needs regardless of how it may affect you in some situations they may act like they're doing the right thing but it's only so that they can play the victim it's just another way for them to get supply it's just another thing that they can hold against you but in most situations they're not even going to do that they're just going to leave you to rot they're going to cause you to remain behind they're going to cause you to remain in a specified state where your physical and mental state deteriorates they're going to leave you to be beaten down reduced and diminished by an event or place that has made a negative effect on your life because they have a need to feel superior to you they have an overly high opinion of themselves they are excessively proud of themselves they see it as though doing the right thing will be beneath their dignity or level of importance and they see it as though they're not going to lower themselves they have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance they have a strong sense of entitlement they believe that they are inherently deserving of privileged or special treatment they feel like they have a right to something They believe that their important superiority or uniqueness should result in getting special treatment and receiving more resources than other people. Which is why they will demand the special treatment or extra resources. Which is why they will throw you under the bus. It can be very confusing, abusive and even dangerous with the behaviour and demands that you will deal with from the narcissist. They have unrealistic expectations which comes from their unhealthy interior. Their expectations of special treatment masks their underlying sense of inferiority. Deep down they feel like they're not enough. They feel inadequate. Which is why they require so much attention from you which is why they expect you to drop everything for them which is why they feel entitled to monitor and control you they feel entitled to your money or to have sex with you whenever they want because they feel inadequate they feel like they're not enough they feel entitled to act out in ways that they would never tolerate from someone else They will be passive aggressive towards you. They will take revenge and try to hurt you. An entitled person will always throw you under the bus. They will always step on you to climb up the ladder. Entitlement is about taking. It is about capturing or gaining possession of something. It is about acting out behaviour without an understanding or duty of care regarding its impact on other people. They don't have the capacity to care about other people's feelings or needs. Because they are too preoccupied with masking their feelings of inadequacy and inferiority. Thank you for watching. 
I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at Narc Survivor, Dakota UK. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.